Okay, before I start, I would like to apologize for the echo. Um, I sold my mic, so we're going to have to work with the webcam's mic for now. Um, today in Photoshop, what I'm going to be teaching you how to do is uh, just some basic um, photo editing uh, tip, tips and techniques to get you started um, on what you need to learn. Okay, so first we're going to open a document. Uh, oh, just open any kind of picture you want to open. I'm just going to go here and open something that I have on hand randomly. Uh, this is a picture of a caterpillar I took not too long ago. I'm just going to open this. Give it a second to load. All right. Um, first thing I'm going to do is scale this image back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image size. Um, I'm going to go to percent because I'm just going to make it 15% of its original size. Now let's zoom it to 100%. Okay, now we've got something to work with. The first thing I'm going to do is enhance the color a little bit on this image. So what I want to do is I want to go down here and use this little tool and I'm going to go to brightness and contrast. With brightness and contrast you can just basically change the two uh, together to get the right mix of vibrancy. You can also use vibrance settings, um, vibrance right here, and uh, change your vibrance and satur saturation for better color. So I'm going to mess with those two for a second. Now that I have a nicer color, um, I'll let you see it a before and after. Here's the before. Here's the before. Here's the after. Now that we have a brighter color, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to flatten the image because this is going to be my base image to go off of. Now I'm just going to show you a few different techniques you can use to further enhance your image. Um, something I like to do, and a lot of people uh, use this, is, is the color balance control. And what I'm just going to do is press control B. Um, if you already have color balance settings that you like and you use often, you can press control alt B which will go to your previously used color balance settings. Um, I'm going to use control B because I'm going to look for something different this time. Now you just want to scale these. Uh, there's no real formula to it. They do what they say. The more you increase on the blue side, the more blue it will get and so on. There are three different palettes. You can use midtones, highlights, and shadows. Shadows are the darker tones. Um, I usually like to increase them quite a bit to add depth to my art. Highlights are the lighter uh, colors. Um, I usually just stick to reds and yellows for there on mostly everything. And then mid-tones are just in general. So now after you get something you like, you can also use um, filters. A lot, of, a lot of times I like to use the sharpen filter. Uh, to give my image a crisper look and I also like to use filters like the render lighting effects and lens flare sometimes uh, if the picture calls for it I like to add a lens flare somewhere around there to give it more of a let's see how this looks to give it more of a lighted look and after adding a lens flare you can also go ahead and um, use lighting effects to focus around your lens flare now with your lighting effects, what you generally want to do is go in the direction opposite of how you had it. So I had my lens flare over here, so I want the light coming from over there. Now I'm going to duplicate my layer, and I'm just going to keep it background copy for now. And I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now this you can do quite a few things. If you want a more blurred background and then you can soft erase around around your center of attention or object. Like oh, 100%. So now you can do something like that and create a better focus. Um, you can also do control U and that'll bring up hue and saturation. There you can change, you can make it black and white, use your saturation tools. Um, you can give it 
uh, just a small dash of color if you want, just edit it a little bit. I like bringing the saturation down a little bit to a duller tone and then just trying and seeing what works best with it. I think I'm going to go with that. Then once you get everything done, I mean just slap on a border. If you don't like borders, of course you don't have to slap one on. I'm going to just make a new layer here and make some big black movie borders is what I like to call them. Um, give it a cinematic effect. Then you can also put some text. It's plug for my website like always. Go there, get some more great tutorials while you're at while you're at it if you found us on YouTube. And there you go. Simple editing techniques that really work. Um, please uh, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials in the future. And thanks for viewing. I hope you learned something. All right, until next time.